Iwakuma was a pitcher for us for a number of years, wonderful human being. His English is terrible. Uh, he wanted to get back into the game. He wanted to, and he came to us, and, and we quite frankly want him as, as our Asian scout interpreter, um, what's going on in the Japanese league. Uh, he's coming to spring training, and I made the same. I'm tired of paying his interpreter. Because when he was a player, you know, we pay Iwakuma X, but we also had to pay $75,000 a year to have an interpreter with him. Um, his English suddenly got better. His English got better when we told him that. So. This lowbrow human being is Kevin Mather. Now former Mariners president and CEO Kevin Mather resigned Monday after a video of him expressing his views of the club's organizational strategy and opinions about some players surfaced and received widespread backlash. Who resigned yesterday over his comments. But Tell, tell us about uh, Julio Rodriguez. Uh, Julio Rodriguez has got a personality bigger than all of you combined. He is uh, he is loud. He is uh, his English is not tremendous. When you really look at what he said, he complained about a player not knowing English well. He's a great human being, doesn't know English well enough. I mean, the player didn't sign up to learn English. He signed up to play baseball. We lost two point nine billion dollars last year. And we have taken the position that there are 180 free agents still out there on February 5th unsigned. And sooner or later, uh, these players are going to turn their hat over and come with hat in hand looking for a, a contract. What the hell is going on? You just look at some of these situations and you just say to yourself, my God, if people in leadership positions... Uh, um, there's a whole bunch of people out there that might think like this. What really gives me cause to pause and heightens my level of concern is the fact that this guy was just stupid enough to get caught. In a troubling story out of Seattle, ex-Mariners executive Kevin Mather criticized players for not speaking English well enough to his liking and even called some players overpaid. Mariners chairman John Stanton said, there is no excuse for what was said and I won't try to make one. I offer my sincere apology on behalf of the club and my partners to our players and fans. We must be and do better. The thing is, you had an overabundance of chances to do better and be better. The franchise, playing on the field, hasn't made the playoffs since 2001. The days of Ichiro, Edgar Martinez, Brett Boone, Freddy Garcia. Off the field, as well, an overabundance of chances to make and do better. A Seattle Times report from 2018 found one woman came forward of Mather's inappropriate conduct, i.e. repeatedly rubbing her back and making suggestive comments that made her uncomfortable. In interviews with the Times, a former colleague of the woman recalled her taking steps to avoid interactions with Mather, and another recalled her privately expressing frustration at Mather's interactions. Mather's own executive assistant said he was mean, and it made her uncomfortable with inappropriate jokes and comments about female colleagues in her presence, according to two people familiar with the complaint. Mather had been responsible for overseeing the team's HR department until shortly after the 2009 allegations surfaced against him. And he wasn't fired over any of this. When he criticized non-American players as English, the Athletic wrote Rodriguez, who is from the Dominican Republic, began taking English classes as a 17-year-old at the team's training facility in the DR. He's now 20. Beat writer Corey Brock wrote of Rodriguez doing interviews entirely in English, beaming with pride at his newfound accomplishments, and awaiting a call to tell his parents he was overjoyed. He was happy that he did this. Rodriguez posted on Twitter his reaction to Kevin Mather, a Photoshop combined with The Last Dance. Mather also revealed that the team planned to start top prospects Jared Kelnick and Logan Gilbert in the minors to begin the season as a way to manipulate their major league service time and keep them with the club longer. Many teams hold prospects back from the big leagues in an effort to keep them under team control for an extra year, but rarely does anyone on the team side Admit those motivations. Finally, Mather said that Kyle Seeger, the team's full-time third baseman since 2012, was overpaid 
at 18 mil this season, the final year of his contract. This prompted a response from Seager's wife, Julie. So should we put our house in Seattle on the market or, and I'm sure this is a question that many Mariners players and families are asking themselves as well.